So we're at the old abbey, which used to be a monastery, 12th century monastery in Abbey Fields. This is the gatehouse, so we're going to photograph tree and make a model of it. We're going to look at recreating what the monastery used to look like before Henry VIII <laughs> demolished it, and we're going to apply that same philosophy to kind of a castle, try and recreate it to its original form of glory. So this is first, first trial of the new rig, um, six cameras, 20 more lenses, trying to speed up, speed up the uh, image capture a little bit. So uh, River and Reality Virtual, we're basically jumping into a rather interesting partnership here, a rather interesting collaboration on this project. Basically, it's a joint venture. We will provide the tools and the deep learning to help assist in the enhancing the photogrammetry to the gold standard and to the next level. And you guys are here literally doing the, the, the hard work, man, on the ground and, and knowing the local scene and knowing the culture, and that's super important. With this monument behind, we're scanning it and testing the new rig, but in a minute we're going to go over to Kenilworth Castle and Warwick Castle. We want to have a complete digital twin of those environments that looks identical to the real world. So, um, as mentioned, we, we, we want to recreate it as if it was, but as if, as if it would be now in present time. So, it's kind of... We, we, we're not going to make it look like it was 1,200 years ago in its glory days. We're just going to make sure it looks like how it would be still look now if someone hadn't gone and knocked half of it down. Coming to this part of the world just makes perfect sense from the cultural preservation point of view, uh, but also people are just impassioned and, and, and ambitious and, and eager to actually focus on this aspect of things. And in New Zealand, nothing's over 150 years old. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so we wanted to talk uh, briefly about capturing reality and the software that they create, Reality Capture, yeah. and how at River we obviously use that software with all of our scenes, the ability to use their different licenses that allow us to use more and more photos. Basically, Reality Capture see this as a cultural preservation thing and they see this as a, they're very tied in with our message of you know backing up the planet and, and having these photographs kind of stored in a public trust for archival purposes to make sure that you know, we are keeping these in the interests of uh, private corporations that, you know, only give, give you the JPEGs on the front end and call it uh, cultural preservation. We, we, we generally believe in hosting these images and hoping that other parties around the world uh, also submit their own data sets as well. Uh, because at the end of the day, the, the more photos, the merrier. And uh, the way reality, reality capture operates is you, you can mix data sets to and fro, especially if you can delight the damn things. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter what time of day it is. This weather's perfect, we know we can de-light this model, give it all the shadows and, and overcast and highlights, and so we will be able to put the final model uh, when created, you know, in any kind of lighting scenario that we want. We can use all the data we have from this scene to apply it to a, a fabricated model of the past, but it will retain all the level of detail, the brickwork, the way that the bricks are structured, uh, throughout the environment, the, uh, the moss that's growing on it, all these kind of things. So imagine, imagine if this was complete and had never been demolished, but it's still going through the you know, degradation of time of the last uh, 800 years or so. Um, so using deep learning to essentially rebuild the past um, as if it was in the present. Yeah. <laughs>